TSUTigers.com here with men's basketball player, sophomore Jay Harris. Uh, Jay, what, what is your major? Uh, major in psychology. Okay. And uh, after graduation, what are uh, some of the things that you would like to put that degree to? Um, well, I like kids, start off um, little ages from 18 on down. I mean, not saying I don't like 19 year olds, but you know, <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know, I just want to do uh, like counseling. Um, really just get with like high schoolers, basically. Just go back into the field of high school, even if I can go back home to Philadelphia and, and uh, do some counseling for my old school, Paul Robeson. But I like, I like counseling, I, I, I would want to get into counseling just because high school is just like, that's when you make, you make your, your, basically your tough decisions, basically, should I say. I feel like that because I feel like when I was in high school, I just needed a little guidance and I had it. So, counseling okay. with that degree. <laughs> now, you mentioned uh, Philadelphia. Can you uh, describe a little bit about where you're from? Oh, man, Philadelphia. <clears throat> the home of the brotherly love. But I love Philadelphia, man. Um, things I can say about Philadelphia is fast, more fast paced than Nashville. Um, I mean, not too much, man. City. I live in West Philadelphia, so it's like houses next to houses, next to houses, next to houses. So, I mean, Philly is a good place, man. Just like, I like my childhood in Philadelphia. I had a good childhood, sports everywhere. Everything was competition. So it was just like, made friends. So it was good, everything was good. Okay, well, very good. Now, um, we hear uh, they call you Savage. <laughs> now, uh, why do they call you Savage? Oh man, I can't believe they told y'all that, but <laughs> my teammates, man, they call me savage because, like, obviously I eat anything. Not eat anything, but they ask me, like, yo, you want some of this after they done? And if it looks appealing and it looks good, I might eat it. Or I stay eating on a bus, on a road, don't matter. I'm just always got chips in my face, candy, it don't matter. So they're just like, yo, you a savage, man. Like, when you gonna stop eating? I don't know. Patrick Biller always called me a savage. It kills me with that. <laughs> now, you, you mentioned just a second ago, but they did, you know, many have said that you have this obsession with chips. Yes. <laughs> I gotta have chips all day. I don't know. Like, it's something about it. Like, if I ain't eat all day till like 12 o'clock, just give me some chips. I can be cool until 3. Or, I don't know. So much. I don't know. I just love them. Doritos. Gotta be Doritos, though. It's gotta be Doritos. <laughs> it's gotta be Doritos. Funyuns. Flaming Hot Cheetos. I just had a bag of those and mixed it, put the Cheetos in the Funyuns bag, just crunched it up, just ate there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> now, now, many would call you an entertainer as well. And uh, I guess one of the things uh, that we would like to know is, uh, can you sing a Donnell Jones song? Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna get my teammates for this, but. <laughs> Where I Wanna Be, that's my favorite song, Donnell Jones. Come on, I'm just on to it. I don't know. Since I was young, little kid, I just like Donnell Jones. That song used to come on, I guess it came out, what, 99, 2000. I just fell in love with it. Can you know. give us a little sample of some Donnell Jones? <laughs> <laughs> Should've left my baby girl a message. Just a little bit. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, now, uh, being a being an entertainer, we have found that you are more than just on the singing side. <coughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, waiting for a bus in Minnesota. Waiting for a bus and in uh, some dance dancing breaks out. Oh, man. that's my teammates. They put it all <laughs> on me, but that's my teammates. I don't know when somebody try to give a little dancing expression. I'm like, man, I could top that, man. Like, that's basically what it is. It's like, man, watch this. That's what I could do, man. Then everybody just think it's hilarious. But I don't know, man. It's in my blood. Like, I love seeing people laugh. I'm a people person. I can communicate with anybody. I love my teammates, my brothers. So it's just like when we go on on the road, it's just us. So if we got to dance, break out into a rapping contest or a singing contest, man, I'm with it. Anything to have fun. So I don't know. 
Well, they, they said that uh, with your high energy and everything, you, you even got Coach Williams involved into this little yeah. dance contest. <laughs> Speak a little bit about his skills. Oh, man, Coach Will always wanted to challenge me in rap battle. What's up, Jay? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what you got? Huh? <laughs> like, man, I don't want to rap to get you, Coach Will. I way hurt your feelings, but <laughs> he's always into it. Like, I'm glad he could engage with it. <laughs> See the energy that's put up in the air. Well, terrific. Now, uh, growing up again, uh, back in Philadelphia, what were some of the other sports or activities that you were part of, uh, you know, besides basketball? Oh, man, like, growing up, my dad had me into, like, mostly every sport. My first sport was ice hockey. And, like, I wasn't going to play no other sport. I was just like, man, I like ice hockey. I want to do it. Played in the spring, road blade, uh, like, roller hockey. But um, played ice hockey at, like, six, seven, eight. Played football, of course. I was real talented at football. Played baseball, did the flag football, tennis. I was I was involved with a police athletic league. They call it POW. It's called POW. But um, I had a coach named uh, Coach uh, Daryl Johnson. Took me in. He just had exposed all the all the sports. So it was just like, man, whatever my my friends was with and whatever I was with, let's just all do it. Baseball. It was just the same team every sport. It's just baseball soccer, uh, football, it was just like, I was just involved in a lot of sports. It was always competition with me. It's just, I don't know, competition is fun, I guess so. <laughs> but yeah, the really league was good, though. So you uh, were very active, and uh, you gave up the ice skates and the, and the football and everything for, for basketball and, yeah. and uh, brought you to Tennessee State University. Yeah. How, how did that come about? Well, when I was like 13, football ended. Well, not ended, but I was too old to play as far as pounds and age-wise. So once I couldn't play for my coach no more, Coach uh, Johnson, I mean, Daryl Johnson, I just was like, man, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and play basketball. I know I could play organized in, in high school. So I tried to play high school. Found me a nice little school, Paul Robeson. Went to high school, played basketball. They, had, they didn't have a football team. If they did, I'd have probably played, but they didn't have a football team. You had to go to a bigger school to play, uh, West Philly University. But, Transitioning to like just basketball, main focus on basketball was I knew I could go somewhere more. Like, I don't know. Like, I could just, I had talent. So everybody kept saying, you oh, know, getting MVPs constantly, in little leagues and, and summer leagues. It's just like, man, all right, I start having confidence basically. So I just want to go to the next level. And um, me graduating high school, I didn't have that many looks coming here, I don't know if that's a question or not, but coming in here, I didn't have that many looks in high school, so I went to prep. And I did prep school in North Carolina. And spending a year there, getting more exposure, um, I just was praying to God, I, you know, just, I just wanna be in the best situation ever as far as like a program, university. And long before you know it, Dana Ford came out of nowhere, it was like in a prep school uh, tournament, this championship game and everything. And he's just like, man, who's, who's, who's got, who offered you? Man, I know every, all the schools is here. Duh, duh, duh. I'm like, man, I haven't been offered yet. Like, Tennessee State was my only offer, first offer, and I took it. It was like, best program. Can't ask for more. It just was all like, I don't know, it just fell into place. But I know coming out of high school, no offers, no nothing. Just a lot of D2s and D3s. And me knowing that I'm better than what I am, not saying that, but. Just, I had people in my corner just telling me, like, yo, you can probably go Division One, man. You got the best chance. And they like your energy like everyone does. Um, I don't know, man. It's just a little journey, long little journey, and I liked it. Basketball, met a lot of people. Um, you know, basketball can give you every emotion. You can be mad one second, then you, after that, you're just happy, confused. It's just, it, it puts you through all the emotion. That's why I guess it makes me the man I am today give you energy, love people, just because I know how the emotion is. Same thing goes back to psychology too. So, you know, give us some. I got the rambling. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Tennessee State, your your time here, what are what are some of your fondest mem uh, memories about TSU? Oh, uh, man. Well, a lot of memories with my brothers, but there's one memory freshman year, man. We had a little party, uh, I guess, when I committed. First semester, we just had a little party. And I just looking around because I didn't go out often. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say often. I didn't go out at all in Philadelphia. Like, no 
clubs, no parties. All that was when we was young. That's why I said I like my young experience. But coming here, we had a party. And I'm just looking around, just like, yo, this is how it is every time. And everybody just heard me like, yo, this is how it is, man. This is college. Like, they like, yo, Jay is happy. Look at him. He's happy. Like, I don't know, man. It was just a, it was like, it was like a, like a little brother, big brother's moment right there. Like, and I loved it. And ever since then, man, like my teammates, they just, they're behind me, man. I don't even like the word teammates. They're my brothers, man. Like, we do everything together. I don't even, every time they blow my phone up, I'm blowing their phone up. Where y'all at? In the group chat. What's going on, y'all? What we doing? But mostly all my fond memories came with my brothers. <laughs> well, uh, talk a little bit more about about uh, your relationship with them. Oh, man. I mean, we go through a lot. In practice, we're going at it head to head. Then it's sometimes we... It's us against the coaches, and then it's just like, I don't know, it's just, everybody is unique. You got four fifth, I call him, that's George Cyphers, call him four fifth. Like, everybody got a nickname. <laughs> just little stuff, I guess the little stuff, I'm always over there. Even if we got curfew, I'm like, man, I'm staying night over there. <laughs> and they come in, all right, I'm staying here, right on this couch. Even if we just talk until we go to sleep, but. I don't know, man, it's my brothers. I got three older sisters, I have no brothers. Like, I guess that's how God wanted it. So, when I go and I'm on a team, I really feel like they're my brothers. Go any, anywhere, we're gonna have a nice little a vibe, and then after that, it's just like, man, we're going to war together, so. We're just gonna see all obstacles, emotions, everything, so. I don't know, my guys. <laughs> Terrific. Now, obviously, being from Philadelphia, another big city. Now, and then you come to Nashville. How's how's Nashville treated you? Oh, Nashville is good. I like Nashville. It's pretty. I like the little Batman building. It lets me know when we coming in Nashville. Oh, yeah. All right, we here. Coming from the road, but it's a lot slower than Philadelphia. But it's still a city. Like, the only thing that makes it slow is I guess the school I'm on campus. But as you go out in the city, got mostly everything that a city's supposed to have. So, you know, I like it. Been to White House for Taylor Ward, so <laughs> I've been to little places in Nashville. So obviously, uh, you know, with that going back to that nickname of Savage, being from Philadelphia, you got those uh, Philly cheesesteaks. Oh, you found man. anything here in uh, Nashville? Nope. Like, nope. <laughs> I don't touch anything that say Philly cheesesteak or anything. If it's not from Philly, I don't touch it. Like, I don't know. Just don't touch it. <laughs> I have don't you, touch it. Have you found a cuisine in Nashville that uh, that you enjoy quite a bit? Uh, Jay Alexander's. Love Jay Alexander. Go to pre gate Bill, Jay Alexander. In. <laughs> Around like four, three, yep, three to four, Jay Alexander. It's nice steak, chicken, mac and cheese on a bean, as we would say in Philadelphia, on a hundred. But, yeah. Okay. Well, terrific. Now, the final thing is, is just kind of talking a little bit about, uh, you know, you with, uh, with the basketball program, and you've had a... Um, you know, a lot of success, you know, kind of being that energy person coming uh, or that little energy boost to the team, both as a freshman and even as a sophomore. You know, speak a little bit about your role. And, and um, Like, I love that role. Why? Because I don't have to put too much in it. The energy and everything just comes naturally. Like, basketball just takes over. It takes over what I'm thinking. It takes over everything. Like, it's just, you know, it just comes natural because of the simple fact that I see somebody mad because they shot a shot. Yo, you good. Don't even worry about it. They listen. That's what the thing I like. Everybody hear me. Like, it's like they not just blowing me off. Like, all right, yeah, Jay, because I hear you all the time. No, it's just like, yeah, you're right. Though. It goes from off the court and on the court because when we off the court, we all just throwing conversation in the air, laughing at me probably. So, and, I, and they know I can get serious at times too as far as like on the court. So. All right. Well, terrific. Jay, it was an honor and a pleasure, and uh, good luck for the rest of your career at Tennessee State University. Yeah, and I'm going to get my teammates <laughs> for that Donnell Jones. <laughs> but yeah, appreciate you guys.